now we are going to discuss about the fundamental theorems of vector calculus fundamental theorems for gradient divergence and curl let's start with the fundamental theorem of gradient If we integrate over a range from A to B, a differentiated quantity that is a first order derivative df dx with respect to x, we know we will get Fb minus Fa. The fundamental theorem of gradient says, according to the fundamental theorem of gradient integration over the range a to b gradient of a scalar field t dot dl that is a line integral of it is t b minus t a which tells us that the line integral of a gradient does not depend on the path it only depends on the values of t at points at the end points point a and point b it does not depend on which path we take to go from A to B. In other words, it is path independent. We will not actually prove this theorem, rather we will see examples of it, so that we can work it out whenever necessary. Let us consider an example. Let us consider a function scalar field t equals x y squared and we shall check the fundamental theorem of gradient with two endpoints. A point, the coordinate coordinates are 0, 0, 0 and point B, the coordinates are 2, 1, 0 in Cartesian coordinate system. So, we can first calculate the gradient of T. the gradient of T is y squared x cap plus 2xy y cap. With this value for the gradient, we are supposed to prove that in this Cartesian coordinate system, this is the x axis, this is the y axis. We are given two points, point A is the origin and point B has the coordinate 2, 1, 0, that is here. Because there is nothing in the z direction, I did not really plot anything. I did not plot the, I did not show the z axis in this picture. So, here we will consider two different paths. One path would be moving along the x axis for two units 
and then moving along the y axis for one unit this and this this is path one path one here we move along the x axis for uh, one two units followed by one unit along y axis and we will consider the second path that connects point A and point B with a straight line like this. So, path 2 would be straight line connecting point A and point B. Let us consider path 1 first and work it out for that. For path 1, for the first segment we have y equals 0 and dl is entirely given by dx x cap in the first segment. we are supposed to write down gradient of t dot dl and this becomes y square dx because the gradient of t is nothing but y square x cap plus 2 x y y cap and here dl is along x cap direction no contribution from y component will come only the x components contribution will come and that is y square dx the value of y is 0 so y square dx is 0 with this if we integrate over the first segment in path 1 gradient of t dot dl we will find it to be 0. Now, let us consider the second se segment. In the second segment we have x equals 2 and dl now we are moving along y direction. So, dl equals y cap dy gradient of t dot dl in this direction would only have the y component 2xy dy because there is no x component of dl. So, for after the dot product x component will go away. And since the value of x is 2, we can write this as 4y dy. Now, if we integrate it over the second segment, gradient of t dot dl we will get the range of integral is here 
dy cha y changes from 0 to 1 the argument is 4y dy and that gives us 2y squared over the range 0 to 1 which is nothing but 2. So, from the first segment we got 0, from the second segment we got 2, the sum is That means, integral from A to B over path 1 gradient of T dot D L, this is 2. Now, let us consider path 2. What do we have in path 2 is the value of because we are moving over a straight line and the end points coordinate is x equals 2, y equals 1, the starting point is 0, 0. So, y equals half of x, then dy equals half of dx, that is clear. gradient of t dot d l that would become y square d x plus 2 x y d y. And if we now convert everything in terms of d x just uh, by the relationship we have found above, it would become 3 over 4 x squared dx. Now, we are supposed to integrate over x in path 2. x equals 0 to 2 is the range. We will integrate 3 over 4 x squared dx and as a result we will get 1 over 4 x cubed 0 to 2 is the range equals 2. So, we can clearly see that the integration over path 1 equals to the integration over path 2. So, the theorem, the fundamental theorem for uh, gradient is verified.